Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at, well, what was initially how to restart or shut down your computer, but I decided to put some detail in there and show you other things, including sleep, switch user, log off, or sign out. You might know some of these, you might not. Let's take a quick look. For example, the most obvious is, of course, the Windows logo or start and the power button right here to get at sleep, shut down, restart. Some computers may be different depending on your operating system build, your operating system itself, etc. So let's keep going. You should see pretty similar though. The Win X often overlooked. And if you're on the Win X, you can come right down here to shut down or sign out. There is your sign out, sleep, shut down, restart. Alt F4. Now let's be a little careful with Alt F4. Back uh, in the day, we used to help people fix their computers and they'd have something open. We'd say, oh, no problem. Just press Alt F4. It'll fix it. Here's what happens. See, we thought we were pretty funny. I still kind of think we're funny. So the big thing is you want to have your desktop active. No windows open. If this is open, I press Alt F4, it'll close it. Now you're on your desktop, press Alt F4, and there is your shutdown windows prompt where you can switch, sign out, sleep, shut down, restart. And of course, you can just click anywhere or click cancel to get out. So you can play with these as we go along. So if you want to follow along, feel free to try any of these. There's no harm. Now. I like control alt delete I'll tell you why there's a lot of options in here so let's go ahead and press control alt delete you can see you can lock switch sign out and of course over here sleep shut down restart keep an eye on this right here because we're going to repeat this on the next step should make sense in a minute here let me scroll down to number five this is if you're stuck at the sign in screen for whatever reason you can click on as I just said right there and aside from the fact that the background's probably different, this is exactly the same. Command prompt or PowerShell, I'll probably come back to this at the end of the video. Be very careful using the command prompt or PowerShell. Here is your restart, shut down, log off, and hibernate, for example. When you do this, you also notice hybrid right here. So there's a whole bunch of different stuff in here. One way you can do it, which I'll show you quick, is let's do the command prompt instead of PowerShell. When S cmd run as administrator one of the neat things you can do with this if you want to like look around is you notice what i did here see the word shutdown again i wouldn't do anything to you to get you in trouble go ahead and type shutdown you'll be okay and i ask you for that because i want you to see all these switches and arguments that you can put in on the next boot after sign in Take your time, read it. Full shutdown and restart. A lot of options. Add a reason. And I'm going to come back to that in a second just to show you because as soon as I do it, and that's why I want you to be careful and I want to show you later, a lot of times you get a, a limited amount of time before it does it. Some of them are instant, meaning if you've got stuff open, you could lose everything. All right, don't forget about Cortana if you use it. All you got to do is just say, hey, Cortana. Restart, hey Cortana, hibernate, et cetera, et cetera. Play around a little bit, probably hibernate my computer, whatever you want. I don't use Cortana too much, so if you do, you probably know better than me. Emergency restart, I happen to like this one. I'll tell you why. A lot of people don't know about it. So once again, I want you to go ahead and hit Control-Alt-Delete. Now, hold down the Control key. Hold it down. Come over here and press Power. There is your emergency restart. Everything will be lost, so be careful. Nice to know. And finally, the power button. We've run into problems with this before. Let's say nothing works. Your computer's frozen. Hold that power button down. Five to ten seconds, your computer will shut down. Everything will be lost. But if your computer's frozen, that is another way to do it. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, there's probably more ways than just what I have here, but I'm hoping maybe you see something you didn't know about before and you know maybe we all learn something together feel free to leave a comment let me know if you got any other cool ideas I can always change the article I can't really change the video but I could change the article let's go back to command prompt and I'll let you out of here just for kicks so you can see what happens let's do shut down our and we're going to once again win SCMD and what's gonna happen when I type this in and I press enter is a prompt's going to come up warning me I have a limited amount of time. 
less than a minute. So that means you and me got to go. Bottom right corner, Major Geeks logo. Click subscribe. Click like if we helped you out. Leave a comment. Don't. Whatever you feel like. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.